So the other day, I'm out on the waterfront, and as I say this, I suddenly realize that if there is ever a superhero film called Waterfront Man, I believe I deserve to be consulted on this whole matter. Because I spend a lot of time out on the waterfront, and I see a lot of things. So the other day, I'm, I'm out a bit further along than I usually go. And I'm looking, and I suddenly see this crane. And it's not new, I've seen the crane. There's... Um, this is all abstract to many people who don't know Amsterdam, but on the north side of the eye, you have this big shell, I don't know if it's a laboratory or whatever, this office building, very large complex. And then after that, you have some kind of building. And every so often, a ship comes there and the ship is offloaded, the contents of the ship offloaded and put into this silo. And so you have this crane that sort of reaches over, it goes down, picks it up, and puts um, the, the content into this silo. And looking at this crane, I suddenly realized, oh, I spent many, many hours of my life watching mechanical devices do this or that, always with fascination whether it's taking off the back of a watch and looking at all the bits and pieces moving around, or if it's, I don't know, diggers and this and that, but today it happened to be cranes. And I'm watching the crane, and you sort of see this hypnotic process where these, um, I actually don't know what they're called, like claws, they're not claws, the grabber sort of goes, goes into the ship, it disappears be below the, my line of sight, and it's open when it goes down, and then when it comes up again, it's really closed, and it goes to this silo, drops the stuff in there. I can see bits of powder, so I, I don't know what it is, but it's sort of grayish white, and this continues back and forth, and occasionally you hear some clang where this device hits parts of the ship. And the whole process is, what I said before, it's really hypnotic. It sort of goes, it goes down, it comes up, it goes back, and then da, 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 da. you have this rhythm. It's, I mean, it's not as fast as this. And it's very easy to just lose oneself in this whole process. And as I'm watching this, I realize that a few times um, in recent years, in the last 10 years, I've actually stopped and stared at the activities of a crane. So I think in an episode previously, I mentioned a lady who was, um, who would uh, excite the um, uh, builders on a building site. But prior to that whole process, there was um, a need to put these, these piles into the ground. And before the pile could get into the ground, it had to be on the right place. And you'd have this crane driver and I mean, I couldn't see him was up in the crane, but you had somebody down on the ground with a walkie-talkie or some kind of communication system. But the most that, that, that this person was doing was using their hand and they sort of indicated a bit left, a bit right. And this crane driver could take this huge 50 meter or 30 meter long, huge pipe, lift it up and drop it exactly where the foreman or whoever it was wanted this thing to be. And I'd watched this a number of times, and I realized that a crane operator, I think I said driver, crane operator, they are operators and operators. And I can imagine within the crane operating community, you have certain people who are like the Rolls Royces of operators, because they are so good, they can pick things up and they can drop it down with ease. Um, I've never operated a crane. I have tried with my kids sometimes to play on the computer. That was way, way back. Uh, and I just couldn't handle things. That's a completely different story. The hand-eye coordination is not so good. But watching these cranes pick things up, watching mechanical things, that, that they are almost alive, and there is a certain elegance. Um, I'm sure there must be a video clip where somebody has taken music, probably a waltz, and uh, um, overlaid that music with images of cranes doing various things, these gigantic machines just doing very, very delicate things. It makes me think actually of Fantasia, I believe, I hope I'm not getting it wrong, you do have ballet dancing hippopotami 
in the first Fantasia, but I could be wrong. But I think there's something like that. But there is, whatever the case, there, there remains something wonderful and elegant about seeing huge machines in action. And these machines are very precise in what they do. Um, there are other examples, but I will save them because I think those examples can actually, I can create a whole, well, I mean, a whole episode, only five or six minutes long, but I can create an episode on those things. So I'm not going to talk about them. Rather, I'm just going to go back to the fact that the other day I'm watching a crane on the other side of the water, and I just think that is so cool.